a quick video showing Hunter's Mark uh, that is comes part of the MIDI-QL package. So to find that, you go to your compendiums. I have a module which organizes them, but it's in a compendium labeled MIDI sample items. And you can see here Hunter's Mark. So if we import that, we'll pop it down there for us. And then I go to my test dummy and drop a copy on. So I'll sort it. So what you'll see is you need item macro for this um, spell to work how it's intended. So you need that at the bottom. And then you've got item macro. This is already built into the macro, you into the feature yourself. You don't have to do anything, it just comes part build. But the way it works, target your creature, cast onto its mark. So you can see the spell slot. And you can see it applies a marker to both of you, saying Hunter's Mark. Now, if I make a shot from my hand crossbow, so an advantage, it hits normal. You'll see that it does 1d6 plus 3, and then 1d6 piercing damage, Hunter's Mark. So it does this as a separate feature. So it's all rolled into one for a total of eight damage. This condenses it all in, and it's pretty much as simple as that. If you go here, what it does, it places a um, <clears throat> active effect on both you and the target. So your side, it will tell you. Which will actually have any features in there. So it just tells all these. But basically, on your side, it's telling you the game. Or MIDI that uh, when you attack, give it the feature, give it the hunter's mark. So let's bring someone else out. Another one of my players. Let's have him roll a shot against it. And a crossbow. Normal. Advantage. Critically hits. You can see that he doesn't apply hunter's mark because he doesn't have it on him. So only on your token. And yeah, that's hunter's mark. Thanks for watching.